This is Codex SDK, OpenAI's version of the Claude Agent SDK that makes it easy to create your own custom agent for CICD pipelines, internal tools, or just to integrate Codex into your own app. Pretty cool, right? But with OpenAI working on so many other things like the App SDK and the Agent Builder, have they given as much love to this powerful library as Anthropic has to theirs? Let's find out. And before we do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The Codex SDK, not to be confused with the Codex CLI, the IDE extension, or Codex Web, is a TypeScript only library, sorry Python, that lets you programmatically control the Codex agent. Here is the most basic example of the SDK being used. We import the Codex class that's being initialized here for interacting with the agent, and I'm passing in the API key that I've stored in a .env file. From here, we're running the start thread method to start a conversation. Then we use the run function to run this prompt and we print the results over here. So if we run the file, we can see the format of the response passing in an array of items, then the final response before the usage object. Up here, we can see the model is reasoning before returning a message. If you wanted to, you could specify the model and you can set the sandbox mode. For reference, you can choose between read only workspace write and danger full access. For more information on sandbox modes and approval modes, check out my video on the Codex CLI. But here we're only giving the agent read only access to my files. Now, if we run the index file again, we can see the model doesn't reason and this response uses more input and output tokens than the previous one. So because of that, we'll stick to Codex. You can also use multiple run methods to resume the thread or use the resume thread method passing in the thread ID, or even specify a response format by using a custom JSON schema, or you can use Zod. But you may have noticed the response comes all at once instead of streaming in bit by bit. To fix that, instead of using run, we can use run streamed, which returns events. And instead of console logging the results, we need to use for of with the await key to loop over each of the events and we'll console log the full event. So now if we run the file, we can see it first starts the thread before reasoning and then returning the completed value. Notice each event has a type and the returned value can be different and the second field, so item, thread ID or usage can have a different form. We can use that to our advantage by creating something like an if statement that will only return the events we care about. So here is a tool being used. Here is the agent message and here is the usage object. In fact, we don't actually need to return the rest of the events. So let's delete this. Now, if we run the file, we just get the agent message and the usage. Let's update the prompt to see tool usage. And after running the file again, we can see the command that was used before the agent sent a message. But just like the example used in my Claude Agents SDK video, we can make this more interactive by letting the user add an input, then processing that input before letting the user add a follow-up prompt. So now running the file, I get this nice message. I can give it a prompt, like how many files are in this project, excluding node modules. Then the agent thinks, uses a tool call, gives the response, tells me the usage and lets me continue. I can then ask a follow-up question, like what's the LOC of index.ts? And then I get another response. And that's a quick overview of the Codex SDK. It's nice and simple, but for me, it's missing a few features like being able to see the selected model in the output, being able to change the system prompt and support for custom tools, hooks, custom slash commands, the list goes on. So because of that, I'll be sticking with the Claude Agents SDK, but I'll keep an eye on this project to see if it gets better in the future. Then again, if you wanted to build a more complicated agent, you'd use OpenAI's Agent Builder which you can learn all about from this video by James.